Hey there, Amazon. Today, I'm going to review this 50 liter day pack. Uh, first and foremost, these hip pouch pockets. I love these hip pouch pockets. I have much more expensive backpacks and they don't always, always have them. It's frustrating. Uh, anyway, let's take this off and we'll dive right in. Now note, I am a medium built, somewhat on the heavy side sometimes, uh, 5'11", and I am a medium on the Gregory and also the Osprey. Now, this is a little bit on the smaller size and with the right amount of adjustment, you can get by, um, you know, being my size. I would recommend if you're a bit shorter, definitely go for this. If you're a bit taller, maybe not. Um, that's just in my experience, you know, everyone can adjust differently. Now, this is not something I would recommend putting a ton of weight into because this does not have an internal frame. This is a day pack and I pretty much was able to pack my essentials. I have my backpacking chair, I have my tent, this is actually one of my heavier tents, gets the job done, and I have my inflatable sleeping pad, love that thing. Now on the bottom has a separated part which you can also open up so it just you know becomes one big backpack. The bottom is reserved for your sleeping bag. In fact, lately I've fallen in love with this particular sleeping bag. It's down filled. It was very inexpensive. And of all places, I got it from Walmart. Yeah, we'll just uh, leave it at that. It was actually a really good buy. Anyway, moving on to the padding. I am most impressed by the padding on the shoulders and actually all over this backpack. The back has it, the hip pouches have it. There you go, my favorite pockets again, the hip pockets at the pouch, at the hip. <laughs> yeah, there's padding all throughout this thing. It's not, you know, some superior, super technology, blah, blah, blah from some top name brand. No, it's thick, it's plush, and it's definitely supportive. And that's kind of what you would want to look for in an inexpensive day pack like this. Now the material shows very, very strong. It's a ripstop and it, it, I poked it, I prodded it, it gets the job done. Top has a brain, that's the top part. As you can see, I can open it from the inside. You know, put all your little accessibles in there. The opening is big enough. And let's take a look at the bottom. And right here, we have the rain cover. It's secured by a zipper, open that up. And there it is. I live in Southern California, so I'm never ever gonna use this thing. So let's just put that back. Um, but if you're somewhere wet, Hey, maybe having this super cool tag letting you know that a hey, rain cover located here might come in handy. Yeah, anyway, in Southern California, not so much. Now, check these out, these loops. I do live in part of Southern California where it does snow for a little bit of time and I like to go ice hiking so I can put my ice picks on these loops. Super useful. Yeah, I really like that. That's a neat little feature. Of course, you can strap on your everything else on here. Oh, by the way, up front, check this out. Quick access pocket for your beanie and gloves. Once again, very useful. So there you have it, guys. You know, it has everything I need. It does not have a bladder. It's okay. I carry water bottles anyway. The bladders get complicated and stinky after a while. After a couple of years, uh, I've tried them all. I got over it. But yeah, it's a great backpack. Hope you enjoy it.